Mila and Joseph, first off, I'd like to hear your reaction to this surprise announcement. It has been a surprise, certainly. And uh, she suffers from no serious challenge uh, for leadership within the party. And therefore, even at the moment, uh, we do not detect any serious moves on the part of senior members of her party seeking the party leadership and the prime minister's role. Her stepping down at the moment obviously allows the party, uh, her party to form a new leadership team uh, to face the election in October. After all, it is a very difficult task to win three general elections in a row, especially in view of the less than satisfactory shape of the economy at the moment. Interest rates are still expected to go up and they will not come down uh, until early next year. So, so the economy is not satisfactory uh, in the eyes of the uh, electorate. And her stepping down will allow the party to formulate probably a new platform to face the questions ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, Joseph, what can you tell us about her leadership style? And uh, as Annette Lee told us, uh, she was often put up on a pedestal. What was it about her that made her so popular? She allows people to think, uh, to think of her as one of the people, one of the masses, and she is so approachable, uh, so honest and willing to listen. So she is certainly uh, a very popular politician within New Zealand. Uh, although the political situation is uh, beginning to polarize a bit, uh, yet she still leads her opposition figures uh, in the opinion surveys. Um, although her party is falling a little bit behind, uh, in, according to the recent opinion surveys, uh, behind the main opposition party. She is in the international community uh, an extremely popular leader and her international image uh, abroad and inside New Zealand is certainly a very important asset for her. What were some of her big achievements and challenges that she faced as prime minister? Well, um, because of the electoral system, Normally, uh, a, party, a party in government will need the support of other parties. Although in the previous election, she rather surprisingly managed, managed to command a, uh, a, an absolute majority in the legislature. So uh, the leader, the head of government, always has to maintain a certain balance uh, within the legislature to ensure a reasonable consensus and to make concessions to, uh, to friendly parties and so on. So maintaining that balance uh, and to satisfy uh, various demands on the part of the uh, ethnic communities, especially the Maoris, and to satisfy the uh, expectations in terms of social welfare, social services uh, expenditure, these are uh, serious challenges mm -hmm. facing uh, the leaders all the time in New Zealand. All right, we'll leave it there. Joseph Chang joining us from Auckland. Thank you.